Hey guys, in this video I'm going to install EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra Power Station and Smart Home Panel 2. Also I'm going to install AP Smart Rapid Shutdown System with 8 solar panels with total array size of 3.2 kW. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. This is my first installation of Smart Panel and what is interesting here, with EcoFlow we have a built-in interlock, so we can easily connect generator if needed. With EcoFlow panel we have two options to install, surface mount or recessed installation. And on the left side I have space for recessed installation and it's going to be easier to run wires between sub panel and the EcoFlow panel. So I'm just gonna cut drywall and the install panel there. With the recessed installation we have to secure panel to the studs and on the sides of the panel we don't have any holes for screws. So I'm just going to drill four of them and uh, secure the panel. Right here at the bottom of smart panel we have nice location to drill through the stud and through existing sub panel and pass wires. To connect two panels together, I'm going to use inch and a half nipple in three inch lens. Now I can run wires from sub panel to power EcoFlow panel. I'm going to use 80 amps breaker and four gauge wires. In general, six gauge and thicker wires going in a black color. And when we're using them as a neutral or leg two, then we have to re-identify them with electrical tape. White for neutral, red for L2. Existing sub-panel didn't have any space in the ground bar, so I'm just installing a new one and uh, going to connect EcoFlow ground to sub-panel ground. Now when panels connected together, I can start moving individual breakers. When you decide which breakers to move to smart panel, consider two factors. First one, which loads you want to be backed up by batteries. And second, we have to maximize self-consumption to fully utilize power from solar panels and battery. And here's the finished sub-panel. Next step is to cover all openings where circuit breakers used to be installed. Now I'm going to wire AC disconnect and uh, connect rapid shutdown. Because solar panels installed on a roof on a house, we have to install rapid shutdown to comply with the code. And AC disconnect must be installed within 10 feet from uh, electrical meter and service disconnect. And, uh, and just to quickly explain how rapid shutdown works, uh, I'm using AP Smart brand and uh, under each panel when I'm installing a device like this and connecting solar panels to input of this device to shorter side and the uh, longer side is going to be connected uh, we're connecting panels in series or in parallel depends of like, our configuration then in a garage or in any place we're installing this enclosure and um, what we have to install here first is a power adapter converts in 120 volts AC to 12 volts DC and this 12 volts DC is gonna power this transmitter and uh, this core is connected to transmitter and positive wire from solar array passing through this core and uh, receiving signal so when transmitter sending signal this device is gonna pass through energy from solar panel to output 
if we're gonna cut the power on this transmitter, it will stop sending signal the core will stop sending signal to AP smart devices and uh, this is gonna cut power under each panel. And the AC disconnect that I installed is going to cut power for this transmitter. So to initiate rapid shutdown, we just flip AC disconnect and it will cut power from this transmitter. Also, when we're running 120 volts to AC disconnect and transmitter, we have to make sure that this source is backed up by smart panel. So in the event of outage, it's going to get power and will get output from solar panels. By the way, if you're cutting metal flexible conduit with a bandsaw, just do it really slowly and you're going to get pretty accurate cut. And here's a junction box which is going to connect power to AC disconnect and to AP smart transmitter. On the left side we have red and black wire going to AC disconnect. On the right side we have black and white, it's uh, our source. And in the metal flexible conduit we're gonna send neutral ground and one hot wire from AC disconnect to power transmitter. And just a quick note here, I did pass positive and negative from solar panels through core, but it should be only positive. And now we can run PV wires from a junction box to power station. One of my concern with this power station that this accepts high voltage DC power and uh, we have on the roof 8 panels, 40 volts open circuit voltage for each panel, 320 volts DC for entire array and uh, this is quite dangerous voltage. In general for inverters we have a metal conduit running into inverter so those wires are never exposed. With this power station I did run EMT as close as I can, but we still have exposed wires. I did try to contact EcoFlow and uh, ask question how to safely run wires, but didn't get any reply. And now finally we can test our system and turn on AC disconnect and we have power on transmitter and we should get power on a power station. Now I can close all covers, connect power station to smart panel and I'm done with this setup. It was a straightforward installation. Installing smart panel it was about the same as install regular panel and the uh, EcoFlow it looks like it's really good quality for a panel. I like design and uh, it was easy to work. And now we connected this to a phone and we're getting about 2 kilowatts uh, of power from solar panels. And it's cloudy day mid of February, so it's pretty good result. Alright guys, that's all about this video. I hope you will find something useful here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and see you later.